actually concerned because they're asking me like yo is carlos okay why <laughs> okay okay because no, of what no because you know how you were like um because my a lot of my friends are like religious like they're oh <laughs> yeah, yeah so they thought i was like going through no, some shit. so like all my cousins yeah christian so they they know that like laughing shit a lot right yeah 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 and they're like yo is carlos like good oh for real so yeah. is it actually bad no, what did they say? What did they say? They said it was the Holy Spirit, right? Okay, that makes more sense because I was praying. But, but yo, but it was weird because it's like you, you how I the, how I interpret it, right? Yeah, that, that's how you interpret it. But you were laughing, you know what I mean? And then they, they were showing me like a lot of um, you know what a deliverance is? Nah. So a deliverance is like like when, a possession and shit. Yeah, yeah. So like when um they gather around, right? Yeah. And then if someone suspects like a, a mother to a son, like. Oh, uh, my son has a demon inside of them, right? Mm. And they were showing me videos of like like adults doing it and like how they're like they're like actually like not Damn. blinking and shit. That's but I, I I didn't believe it. But there was one. Yeah, there yeah, was yeah. one of uh, I believed of a little kid. Yeah. Right? So this this little kid obviously isn't. They wouldn't pay her to be that good of an actor. Mm, so and it, she was freaking out. She and was shit. freaking out, right? So as soon as it started, right. They took her and the the person and the the person that was doing the deliverance said, "Okay, uh, I want Jesus to fill uh, this girl with the Holy Spirit, right? And then I want all the demons to get out of her." And as soon as she said that, she fell back and she oh, fell. She like, she like yeah, passed out. She fell on the floor, and while she was on the floor, no more blinking. She was like. She was like moving her head. She was nah. she was smiling like you like you remember you said yeah, you, yeah, she yeah. was laughing. She was laughing. She was like nah, ah. that's crazy. Then, that's you know, crazy. I'll show you the video because it's too good yeah. to be like acting. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Hold on, look. This is a little kid too. Hold on, let me let me see. Let me see. So boom, she's on the ground. Get off of her. Get up. Get off of her now. Boom. Now her eyes twitching. Yeah, that unclean. You come out of her. Boom, oh, smiling. There you are. You're gonna come out of her. Yeah, you unclean. She's laughing like That's you crazy. Did. You perverse spirit. You, no, I'm not stupid. You're look, look, look at the head turn. Look at the head turn. You can't have Nah, bro. Yo, see what I mean? That's fucked. And I was like, okay, if you laughed, would it be the same thing? I don't know. Personally, yeah. I don't know, but I feel I feel blessed now. Okay, that's good. I feel that's super good. blessed now. Because <laughs> they were actually concerned. <laughs> no, nah, I was concerned too. I was concerned too, fam. <laughs> like, don't get don't get it twisted. Like, I, I was I was worried. That's why I started yeah. like praying and shit. Mm -hmm. But I think what it was a lot of it, it it was that thing we we talked about this already. Yeah, yeah. But I'm definitely putting too much faith into other things, mm -hmm. and you never know nowadays. Maybe because I'm more aware to it. Yeah. So I I saw this TikTok, and they're pretty much saying like, why does it feel like when you learn more about God, and we mm. when you learn more about your religion and stuff, you feel farther away and oh. and people say the reason that is is because you start to see all the things that you're doing wrong and it makes you feel like shit oh like vulnerable so it like uh you know how a guy would like uh probably like wear better clothes or something like that to to hide his like um vulnerabilities mm -hmm. something like that it's kind of like that so you know how um for example you you think you think all of these things that you do bad aren't bad until someone tells you mm. right until your parents or like those morals came into your head yeah. you would have just been doing those things regardless yeah. for example we can say like smoking back in the day mm -hmm. people used to smoke they thought it was healthy for them oh yeah but it was only until they started putting out the ads like oh smoking causes cancer this and that back in the day they felt no remorse mm. i mean it's just like it's just regular life they're just no guilt yeah, yeah, yeah but the more you know and then the more like you see things you start to feel guilty about little things mm. and me being a overthinker yeah i mean i started thinking like damn was that was that porno i watched the other day like bad for me? No, you know what I mean? real shit, no, no, exactly though too. right like if you think about it those little things like if, if it's so much and it's in the back of your head your subconscious is telling you like oh you're guilty for that you're guilty for that mm -hmm. then how do you feel yeah no but it's also things like since you do <laughs> overthink right yeah so some guys trying to you, you're reading so many things mm -hmm. that you're thinking like 
oh, is this real? Is th-? like that's the main question. Is this real? Until it gets proven in real life, then you're like, oh, okay, it was real. I know that's the problem, but I think that's what makes me me is I'm supposed to question shit. Yeah, you yeah, know? I know. I'm supposed to question shit. That's what that's what makes it fun. Yeah, and, and another detail they mentioned uh, when you said um you heard a voice saying I don't like it here. Yeah, yeah. So so there was another deliverance video they showed me where mm-hmm. the guy said, "What was your name?" to the person. Yeah, the person didn't say her name. Mm-hmm. She said, "I'm the devil of." Like pride or ego, Damn. and then and then she ran away. She was like, "Oh yeah, even the demons tremble." And then she was like running away. She was covering her face. Whoa, that's and, and crazy! And she was like, "Yo, show this to Carlos and shit like that," because it might have been that, like your pride and ego telling you, "Oh, this might not be real. This is mm-hmm. I believe in something else." You know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that's like the pride. You know, the serpent. Nah, a hundred percent. Accept the Holy Spirit for yeah, me. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. But it's it's just those things where it's like, you when you when you feel. Mm-hmm. so scared and you yeah. feel vulnerable then you start to overthink it too mm-hmm. and then you you don't know what it is you yeah. don't know what anything is to be honest it, uh, it, it would have been funny if you you said that story with the uh, jesus loves this guy Doubt it. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> <I remember. laughs> that's the perfect episode to have it at <laughs> Low key. Jesus. yo so what's fucked though is yeah. i've seen those videos before and it just oh, yo i just really don't like it when i see kids going through shit mm, you know what i mean because yeah, yeah. why 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 do you think like a kid would fall into some evil why it would it be though any better i'm thinking like oh it doesn't know any better it's it's the easiest like to fall to temptation so it's like okay if i believe that it's easy right yeah because as a kid fam like think think about like when you were a kid mm. low-key when when did we start realizing we're even living? Oh yeah, back that right, like yeah, consciousness yeah. In, in general. Mm-hmm. Like, how do we even? So there's one day like, oh shit, I'm aware. Yeah, and then now I remember because I think you only remember shit starting from year three of your life. Oh yeah, I I think I said that too. Yeah, so everything else like you don't even see it. Mm-hmm. There's a there's a guy there's a little kid that's blowing up on TikTok too. His name is Myas. Yeah, and he's like known for like this little dance he does, and everyone loves it. Mm-hmm. But he's like I think he's like two or three, something like there around that age. Mm-hmm. And the fact that he's outside meeting rappers, he's meeting Wu. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, it's not Wu. No, it's not it's somebody else. It's, okay, it's okay, somebody okay. else. He met Kim Kardashian. He's going to all these events, fam. I don't think he's even conscious yet. <laughs> like <laughs> everyone so in the not gonna remember yeah, that shit. Everyone in the comments is like, bro, Myus isn't even conscious yet, and he has like a million followers. Damn. You know what I mean? Like, oh, so he's like a baby baby. Yeah, he's a baby baby. And he, holy shit. You know what so I mean? He's like a toddler? No, not a toddler. He's like maybe th- four to five. But you feel me? He's like at that age where he can barely like get words off, you know? Mm. But he's meeting Kim Kardashian and shit uh, like that. Do you think it's a problem if people get so much um like that's hella dopamine to your brain, no? Mm. Right, uh, right off the bat, fam. Maybe, cause I remember, I remember seeing since you said woo up. Yeah, there was a there was a video on woo up in his like kindergarten class. Mm-hmm. Everyone's doing like the mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes, and woo ups. They're standing like, see exactly. You can't, what you the can't fuck enjoy shit no more. You can't even enjoy shit no you more. You can't. Bro. You can't. You can't. No, but I think I think there's um. This is what's gonna happen. I'm predicting it right now. Okay. We're headed in a place of like everybody's doing the extreme of everything that we can. Like. Mm. Oh, I might have said this before, though. Yeah. Like, boring shit is going to be fun. Boring shit is going to be fun. Because it, we're, we're too stimulated right now, fam. Okay. It we're, mi- we're way too stimulated. You can't lie. Every single thing in your life, like your phone, the commercials, mm-hmm. even food is to the max. Overstimulated. So boring shit, bland stuff, it might end up being cool. No lie. if Because right now, I feel like we're, we're coming close to a peak. Because right now, everyone wants that next party. So do you think if we hit a peak, that, it's going to pop? Yeah, of course. That's, why, that's what it always happens. You feel me? Damn. But right now, like you can tell like uh, Instagram, TikTok, everyone wants that next party after a party, you know, yeah, club yeah, yeah. every night. Or maybe it's just our generation, like at our age, mm-hmm. but you never know. It might pop. Do you think Mr. Beast videos would ever get boring though? Yeah, 100%. If it's always repetitive. You think repetitive, it would get boring? Yes, bro. But it's always something different. No. <sighs> Trust me, I feel like just camping with your boys and just enjoying the sunset will become more cooler. Just recently, the the reason I'm saying this is yeah. just recently, um, you know, Phase Rug. Yeah, yeah. Well, what about so? Him? You know how his videos are very like it's In very it's very algorithmic. Mm-hmm. You know, it's mm-hmm. very uh, you know it's gonna go viral and you know it's gonna make the person watch he, the whole he video. Has the recipe. Just recently, like his recent video, he changed it. What do you mean? What, he, what he, is he, it? he changed his vibe. Oh no! Yeah. What is it? What yeah. Is so it? It, it's more like it's more like a mellow tone now. And oh. it's completely different editing style, mellow tone. 
It's not. It's not the Yo, same. Face. So if you so, keep up with the trends, so maybe he's maybe he's onto it. Maybe mm-hmm. he knows like this is gonna change. What's the content like? Is he just sitting it down in a chair now? Like no, nothing? no. I think he's doing regular shit. It's like vlogging more, but it's it's definitely more um, <clears throat> close to home. You know, because mm, okay. I read this thing. Yeah, and this is true. Like, I think Grant Cardone said it or somebody, some someone like really famous. Mm-hmm. They they said like stuttering is a skill. Stuttering and it sounds fucked, right? Like, what the, what are you talking about? How how is stuttering like? <laughs> how is stuttering fuck? useful? Yeah, but check this out. Uh-huh. He pretty much said, "You subconsciously won't trust the person that speaks perfect, that speaks too perfect, that speaks so clear, crystal clear, and is too persuasive in that That's way." Right. And if you start to hear a little stutter here and there, and sounds a little bit more natural, yeah. appealing to you. You put your trust in him because what? Yo, that's facts. Because what? Because it's it's more relatable. Oh uh-huh, yeah, it's yeah, more yeah. relatable. Because think about think about all those times you were listening to, let's say, a professor. Yeah. Professor doesn't stutter for shit, bro. Mm-hmm. The professor does not stutter, and you're telling me he's more relatable than somebody somebody like your friend. Yeah. Oh no, lie. Okay, so this is coming from like a pro liar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so this is a skill I developed, like. In the lie, mm-hmm. like you would, um, even though you know the sentence completely and it's going to go out your mouth, like yeah. perfectly, you kind of like, and then maybe, um, uh, oh, and then like you, you like kind of mess up a bit. So the lie is more, uh, like you believe the person will believe it. Is that, is that true? Yeah. Yeah. Cause I've done it way, like a lot of times. I can tell what you're lying. Really? <laughs> no, but other people fam. Trust oh, true, me, trust true, me. true, true, true. No, but there, there's a thing called the pantomime. Yeah. And you, you can like see certain movements in their mouth certain mm-hmm. like features of, of their body posture and you can tell like, exactly when they're lying yeah. and if they check like let's say five boxes three boxes mm-hmm. they're lying yeah but it's all like a checklist that's what everything is nowadays bro <laughs> now everything's like they know the secret to everything and like oh you you're in this category now yeah do you think there's anybody that that's new that doesn't fit that that box that everybody has calculated do you think everybody mm. is still different or we all like fall into an archetype of somebody. No, we all fall. Do you know those ones on TikTok? Is like I've never had an original experience. Mm. Like, fam, obviously, there's there's always gonna be like everyone has like that that same thing. Like um childhood and stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. But I think there definitely is some outliers. There's got to be uh, like out- I don't think so. Well, for example, lifestyle and tragedy. Mm-hmm. Oh, like uh, like stories, different stories. That yeah, like tell? tragedy and lifestyle. Like those are things that you can't really replicate. And a lot of people, or maybe, I don't know. No, but the I, feeling itself, the feeling itself, do you think different, it's... Yeah, it's different. But I feel like the story is like, say um, some guy says, oh, my mom died, mm-hmm. you know? Some person else, mom probably died the same way, you know? Yeah. It's like there's a million people on this earth. Okay, this is kind of mind-blowing, but yeah. if you think about it, do you think everybody has the same sadness or is sadness a different emotion for everybody depending on what they're experiencing? Oh. Think about that. No, it, it is because some I remember seeing something it was like some motivation speaker. He said emotions aren't real. It's just a perception of your mind, right? Mm-hmm. So say you're sad. Mm-hmm. A person's sadness is different from your sadness. That's what I'm because saying. Because it's different experiences. Yeah. So do you think? Do you think when you become sad because mm-hmm. you've seen other people and what they do being yeah, yeah. sad? It's monkey see, monkey do. Like, I'm going to do that because that's what sad people do. Oh, no, I don't think so. You don't think it's like that? You, no, you, you, you think you think those those uh, activities... It's, original. it's all original. Yeah. Wait, there's no way. There's no way. So say I, I get sad, right? Yeah. And you're saying you're trying to copy my feeling. There's no way. No, no, no. What I'm saying is... I like this. This is this is just an uh, exploration. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not saying this is what it is. Okay, okay. But that's like some clone shit, bro. No, but like, look, look, look. I I, I agree because this is where I was gonna take it. I was gonna say, um, because what if my sadness, like you, we don't, you don't even know what sadness is truly because you just know what sadness is in other people. Okay. Mm, because my sadness, it might not translate to your sadness. I know what my sadness is, but I don't understand how you would yeah, take yeah, yeah. sadness. Mm-hmm. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, because I don't know. Is it is it really the same? I don't think it's the same. Mm. But I I dead ass think like we see emotions in people, and because we feel that emotion, we start to do trends in what people do in that emotion. Damn, that's, that's a that's kinda, a crazy take. That's a dark take. But though. why would you do that? Like, what was the point? For of example, the first man to start like cutting. Like, I know that's. You know what I mean, like, no, nobody should cutting cut. What? Like. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For example, oh. people were not doing that way, 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 way back. They only started doing that, let's say, like the 80s, 70s, maybe. Oh, I kind of get what you're and saying. And then now, now it becomes a trend, but because. Be- 
because people knew about it, they started mm. to copy it. Like, for example, Columbine was the first mass. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then, and oh. then people that are fucked up like that decide to do the same thing because that's what fucked up people do. Okay. Yeah. So do you think once it happens, then they copy because that's what we think we're supposed to do and what we what we fit into? You get me? I think I think so because I I only related to more mostly when you said the the copycat thing co- yeah. crimes because remember I told the the nine eleven one mm-hmm. what what happened the guy uh, crashed the airplane because he liked it so much yeah and then right after um I think it was Jeffrey Dahmer look what look what the the flood of just some um, carn uh, what do you call it? carnivores yeah the yeah the carnivore yeah. murder killers that came after that you the know cannibal cannibal Ca- cannibal yeah. cannibal murder killers that came after that bro it was like um it's, so they they copy it uh, or like they continue yeah. it yeah it was a continuous i get what you're saying now mm-hmm. i thought you were talking about like pure emotion like no that, no, that. no 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 I'm, I'm i i guarantee like everybody's different and yeah. i i truly believe like everybody has their their own like feeling and yeah. you can't even say this is this is that sadness is this sadness because it's different that that's an underrated uh superpower too like uh if I had like one wish, I would be like, oh, I wish I could control everyone's emotions. Mm-hmm. Cause if you're controlling everyone's emotions, fam, that's their whole life. You know, you're yeah. inside their brain. <laughs> okay, I, I have a crazy take. Okay. I have a crazy take. But the craziest superpower you can have in the world. Okay, let me hear it. Is being gullible. Or or just being able to be influenced that much that it manifests into your life. What? Hear me out. Hear me out, okay, bro. Okay, let me hear let's it. Let's say, let's say, you know those stories of the sugar pill? How oh. they did a test, and pretty much they, there were six, pe- there were sick people, mm-hmm. and they gave sugar pills to one group, and they gave actual medicine to another group. Okay, the people that had the sugar pill, yeah, their mind, they believed in so hard that this medication would heal them oh, that okay. they actually became healthy. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. So, do you think that's low key? the biggest superpower in the world and Loki, the most powerful people in the world are no. the ones that can be like manifest into the love because no. they're so gullible and shit. No, that's total opposite. I think that, you don't think I so? think this is your craziest hot take yet. Cause fam, if, okay, say, say you're, I'm gullible, right? Yeah. And then, yeah, you have that good side. Oh, you're going to be great. Oh, I'm going to be great. Yeah. Like I believe it. And then you become, no. Yeah. But fam, if once you become great, yeah. say you become yeah, great, yeah. you have all these comments now it becomes the back, uh, the the bad stuff that comes. No, but so, that so regardless, say, what you've done is what you've done, no? No. Obviously, there's going to be more haters than positive people. Yeah. Oh, you're not going to go anywhere. Fuck. I am. I'm no, but that's different, though. It's not. You said Oh, you mean, oh, because people tell you that. Yeah, oh, okay, exactly, okay, exactly. I agree, I agree. Yeah, yeah, agree. yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, I agree, I agree. My bad, my bad. <clears throat> but, but I mean, like, um, in a sense of, like, I tell you, yo, you're going to be this, yeah. and then that's all you focus on. You're like, you're in the headlights, like, I'm going to do that, and you do that. That's fucking crazy. Nah, that's that's fu- that's a puppet, fam. <laughs> no, but that's that like that's like going out the matrix, and then you're like, okay, the best super pa- super no, power. No, but because it depends on the influence, though. It depends on the influence. And so it really only depends if you have a really good friend group. You know what I mean? No, you. Could, what if you don't have no friend? Okay, so say you only have family. Yeah. You know, half the time your family don't even believe in you. In what, no, what but you I, that's do. what I'm saying. It depends on it depends on the environment. Yeah. But imagine in that environment that you can be told, or you tell yourself. Yeah. Cause you can you can tell yourself that, you know what I mean, and you can make yourself believe these things. Okay, and then, wait. You know, and it actually happens. Okay, I have a story for you. Okay, okay. Check this out. Me. This is real. Yeah. There's this guy, and he spent a hundred days underwater and it reversed his age. Reverse. It reversed his age. <laughs> nah, nah. So check this out. Right. He he wanted to do a scientific study, mm-hmm. his own research on what like. All that, all that pressure being underwater would make your body do. Okay. So he spent, I think, like exactly a hundred days in a in a submarine. Okay. I forgot how deep it was, yeah. but he spent like eating, living, sleeping there, hundred days. Now, when he got out, mm. this is the crazy part, because he went to a facility yeah. to go and run some tests on him. Okay. Now his stem cells, his blood work, and Everything that they've done about his test, it says that he aged 10 years younger. What? Yeah. Like all his wrinkles were gone or some shit? Or like No, like his body. So he felt healthier. Yeah. Or- and he did feel healthier. He was he was feeling healthier. His blood pressure was down. Oh shit. And yeah, he, he said like he can sleep better and he dead ass feels like 10 years younger yeah. once he got back to the surface. What? But it's interesting because that's a thing that happens if somebody's in space too long too. Mm-hmm. Because when they come down 
from space. Yeah. Their body's not used to the gravity. Yeah. And then they can like, they can't walk. I, okay. I believe I believe they can't walk for like a couple of days, something uh -huh. like that. If you're but, an astronaut. Okay. So the guy that was in the, the submarine, he was eating properly though, right? Yeah, he was eating properly everything. Okay, so I, I think I can add on to that because there was another study. Yeah. But they did a, a plant. So remember the... Uh, the theory you told me when you talk to plants like, oh, you can grow, mm -hmm. like it'll grow further. So they put plants in this box, right? And they had two boxes, one with Wi-Fi yeah. and one without Wi-Fi. Submarine, you're in the ocean, you don't have Wi-Fi. Yeah. The study showed that the plants in the box with the Wi-Fi actually died faster. Oh, shit, because the, the, the waves, the, the waves, radio the, waves. Yeah, and radio shit. waves. So the, but the ones that were with no Wi-Fi, boom, yeah. they actually sprouted. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that happens, you bro. You know what I mean? And For sure, all of these radio, Bluetooth signals, everything, Wi-Fi, it has to affect it somehow. Yeah, 100%. And I know for a fact, fam, like I'm calling it right now, uh -huh. one day we're going to realize like somebody's been silently putting out a signal and fucking us up. Like telling us like dumb shit to do, uh -huh. becoming stupider or whatever. And like just playing it out for us, mm -hmm. for our bodies to like accept. And we don't know. And we don't know it but because it's just phantom. The, yeah, the long-term effects too. And there's something going, ar uh, going around too that's trending. Mm -hmm. So do you know the, the, the head bump, the trend? Nah, no, what's so, that? So, Everyone, all the gamers, when they're on Twitch streams, all the chat has been saying, yo, take off your headphones. Why? Because they, when you wear your headphones so long, they, it becomes a Oh, they get indented? In your head. <laughs> so everyone- I, I see, you know, what's that guy though? The big white yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The muscular the guy muscular that screams guy. all the time, yeah. He has a dent, yeah. So, Tyler, I think, yeah, Tyler, is it Tyler. Tyler? So everyone, I think there's like maybe a hundred streamers that did this. Yeah. And you can see the dent. That's fucked. The, so one guy actually shaved off his head to actually see if there was actually a dent. Yeah. And scientists have been saying like, if if you guys ha are, are not wearing AirPods anymore, mm -hmm. then your head will start becoming deformed. Like it'll be like a big hill. Damn. Yeah, you know what I mean? So I'm like, oh, we gotta- so You gotta careful with the headphones. Yeah, man. so good. good. <laughs> yeah, Damn, make sure that bro. shit is not sitting. Cause I mean, it's, it's like braces. Yeah, yeah. Cause braces do the same thing. You just hold it there for a long time. Mm -hmm. Even like rocks, like, you, you know you know rocks, if you just keep like a, a, a pebble of water yeah. and just constantly like dropping on one piece of rock, it will create like a crevice in the in the water. No, in in the rock. Like oh, in the rock. Yeah, it will form the rock because of the water. Like it, it will break rock over time. Oh, that's kind of sick. Over years and years and years. And yeah. the Grand Canyons are that. Mm. So the Grand Canyons they didn't just like form. Yeah, they yeah, happened obviously. through years and years of of water like running <laughs> through. <laughs> it's just no more water there no more. Yeah, all my friends though that I have sent that that vine to have yeah. been like, yo, I'm moving to AirPods. Or is that um is that a, a marketing scheme where it's like oh buy more AirPods? I, this is like a mm. whole Apple. <laughs> but that's that's more that's next. And thing. if you want to get deeper onto it, uh -huh. what if what if the people that don't want us to be healthy mm. want us to switch to Bluetooth because this is wired. And then, yeah, we switch and then the, Bluetooth the, the radio, the and then we die quicker. Oh, you know I mean? we, oh, oh my. <laughs> my God, bro. Head ass. Oh my. Nah, because do you ever watch Cyberpunk? You didn't no, watch no. it yet, right? I didn't watch Cyberpunk. But in Cyberpunk, you can like take a, a chip and then mm. put it into you and you just become different. What do you mean different? Like um, so, a different person? No, you, you, let's say, let's say uh, you know how an iPhone has mm -hmm. software updates. Okay. You can go to the store in Cyberpunk. You can go to the store, pick... I, I want to have this ability to think nicer. Yeah. You can buy the chip and just put that shit in and you become like that. Bro, that's not even the, uh, an ability, bro. That's a disability, bro. That's bipolar disease, bro. <laughs> wow. That's bipolar. You're turning into another person. That's not an ability. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. What if, what if I told you you could do that already? Yeah, you can. By going crazy. <laughs> no, but like you could. It's not necessarily crazy. No, okay. If you really bag it, you can turn into whatever you want. Yeah, you can turn into like a squirrel if you want to. Yeah, like you can just pretend. Yeah, if you want, if you wanted to, but we don't do that because it's like societal norms just don't want us to do that. But the crazy ones will be like, oh yeah, L let me let me become <laughs> let me become a the fucking plant for one day. What the fuck? You know what I mean? Why? Why the fuck? Was <laughs> what? Never mind. <laughs> no, but what I, what I was trying to get at was like, oh, you're would, you, would, you, yeah. <laughs> would you would you want anything that you would have or not? Oh, like uh, turn into another person? <laughs> not turn into a person, fam. I like, just mean like like get skills and shit. Oh, skills. Hmm. <laughs> turn into animals. Skills. Yeah, I guess so. Loki. Yeah, I guess you could turn crazy too. Probably probably um, more people skills. That right now more people skills yeah like what like, like talking like, to people I, I can go into any like event and just be the most extroverted person out there like defeat mm. my social anxiety you know 
True. You feel me? Are you doing anything to conquer that? Yeah, the turtles thing. <laughs> you actually do it? Yeah, Walmart, uh, LCBO. Yeah, yo, record that shit. I want to see it. I want to see it. <laughs> scream it like scream it to people yeah yeah okay because i think i think it takes for somebody you see in public to realize mm. okay if you see somebody doing that in public yeah do you think you would be inspired or do you, you would you just see them as crazy crazy <sighs> yeah crazy that's, you see that's them my, as crazy right that's my inner thing like yo what the fuck is go going on with that what guy? is crazy crazy is like um not minding your peace so it's peaceful everyone's doing their thing mm -hmm. like the normal thing that's going on like people are shopping and then doing something that you know is not nor not normal which is crazy i guess but what's normal to begin with though normal is like going through your daily life like people shopping uh minding your own business talking to their family members that's it peaceful mm -hmm. peaceful and then once someone disrupts the peace you're crazy okay if i put you in a world let's say i put you in a country yeah and you were born in and it's just been war 24 7. Mm -hmm. isn't that normal a war 24 7. yeah that's normal in and that's in that my life that's normal to me yeah isn't that crazy and so then, yeah so who's really crazy then the people who want peace yeah isn't that yeah, fucked i know yeah yeah. if you think about fun. it that way yeah 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 it so all the, depends. The, depending on what your normal is around you mm -hmm. you oh. just seem crazy even though you're morally right yeah so we don't know who's really morally right we just know what the population or the majority agree with yeah, exactly. But they obviously, you know, all the news media centers try to push that propaganda. Did you see mm. that one where it's like they all had the same script? What? So um, CCTV, something news, blah, yeah. blah, blah, news, blah, 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 news. There was like a hundred news stations yeah. that were reading the same script. So they're like, oh, hello. Uh, we want you to consume more or some shit like that. They all said it. And there was like a big video where they combined all the, oh, the voices talking together. And it was like synonymous so somebody wrote out this script yeah. and then gave it to every single news platform yeah, to but say it made sense because it's like propaganda fam it's like Damn, you know what i mean bro. yeah where do you get your real news from then you can't fam from <sighs> from shit like this <laughs> oh i have, I have a theory too yeah but have you ever heard of the taylor swift royal family theory nah have i heard, heard this no, okay no, no, so no. so it, there's a theory going around that every time taylor swift drops an album oh a royal family member dies that's maybe the day of or the week right after that's crazy and i'm gonna read it that's out. crazy read it. Shout out to let me see <laughs> so look her first one she drops fearless album yeah. april 9th 2021 prince philip dies on the same day no the same day yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? okay so look now taylor <laughs> drops midnight on August 29th, 2022, yeah. Queen Elizabeth dies the week after, September 8th, mm. you know? And now her new album is dropping and she said it's going to drop on July 7th. July, July 7th, 7th coming is up. coming yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. So this is when it gets weird. Yeah. In uh, Prince Philip's coronation, there was like in the, in the uh, footage, mm -hmm. there's a grim reaper. Yeah, you can see in the Yo, that you great. can see in the background. He's walking through. He just makes a little appearance. What the? You want to see the video? You the, see? What do you mean a Grim Reaper? Like a, like he's he's dressed as a fucking Grim Reaper? <laughs> yeah. Why they put him in the mix, bro? Because it's like um, it's like a, a hint that's what's coming. Nah. So look, look. Let me see. Let me see. This is during his coronation. So look at this door right here. Yeah. All the guards walk past. Look. Yo, Yo. That's, that's live television. That's Yo. no fake shit, fam. That's, that's not fuck. fake. That's not fake. That's so fuck. people are saying. So he's, the theory is gonna die. Yeah, and then, that he's gonna die because July seventh is coming up. She's gonna drop the album. Boom, gone. Holy shit! Which makes sense. But why Taylor Swift? Why? Why oh. do you think it mixes up like that? You know what? It goes deeper too, because yeah. Taylor Swift is actually royal. He has royal blood. No, she doesn't. Yeah, I'll read it to you too. Did she actually? Yeah, I actually did. Did uh, research on his look, look, look. So, did you know that Taylor Swift is the ninth cousin of Marilyn Monroe, seventh cousin of Princess Diana, what the seventeenth uh, cousin of Queen Elizabeth, and tenth cousin of Ernest Hemingway? So she has royal blood. So all of this might be like you know, like mm. a, a part of it. So it's kind of believable if if you really bag it. Damn, but tenth cousin, tenth cousin, seventeenth cousin. That's kind of deep. It's still that's low key kind of deep. <laughs> We're probably like. 20th cousins to <laughs> no, be real time. That's, that's what I'm what we're really 20th cousins, fam. Probably. That's what I'm saying. But, but it's still blood, though. 
Yeah, I guess so. So whether you're searching for the latest sneaker drop, that iconic handbag, a timeless watch, or your next piece of classic jewelry, eBay authenticators are there verifying every detail of your purchase. Yup, we're talking each inch, stitch, tick, facet, and clasp that make the piece you're searching for worthy of your collection. eBay's authenticators are experts in their craft, true connoisseurs, and as leaders in their field, they're making sure your items always arrive as authentic as your style. So go ahead, get that piece you've always wanted, and leave it up to the meticulous eyes of an eBay authenticator to make sure the watch movement is original, that glimmer is real gold, that rare sneaker is legit, or that handbag is really made of genuine leather. And never get faked over again. In a world full of fakes, it's time to get Get real with eBay authenticity guarantee. Everyone deserves real. Visit ebay.com for terms. At eBay, expert authenticators inspect every detail of select handbags, sneakers, watches, and jewelry you love. Ensure your next purchase is the real deal with, with eBay's authenticity guarantee. Everyone deserves real. Visit ebay.com for terms. There, there is another footage. Let me yeah, show yeah, you. Let this. me see. <laughs> this was on a this was on a Twitch stream. Okay. So hold on. Let me, play. Let me see. Because your footage of the alien, they're calling that out. So you check need, this you out. A, check this out. We need so, some real. This was, this was on somebody's stream. Mm -hmm. They were just chilling. They're doing like a just chatting stream, talking in in the Discord, right? Yeah, yeah. Bro, so all of them just chilling. They're just talking. Yeah. And then one of the guys on his screen, you can see like a shadow, like walk by him, like a big shadow. It almost looks like a face too. Holy fuck! Walks behind him, right? And and he just like turns like this. But nobody's there. It, he didn't really bag it until yeah. his friend said, yo, did we just catch a ghost on stream? Listen, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is he a big this. streamer or no? I think he's someone smaller. Okay. But look, I'll show you the footage. Let me see. Check this out. Features. I do like RJ Bear, but I don't know. It might be time for him to go as well. You never really know. So I, I say you just good off of those people. <laughs> yeah, you said, look, 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 look. And then he turns, right? He turns. Fam. This is how you know it's real. Look at the reaction of other people oh, and what they say and what they say. Playback. Is that a ghost? I just oh, yo, Junebug, chill out. Yo, that <laughs> wasn't even a person. Junebug, chill out. <laughs> Man, they're confused. They're confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and they they tried like looking around the room like what's happening. Uh -huh. Damn, they had no explanation. They just seen this shit walk by. Uh -huh. And the fact that he turned because mm. nothing was there. Mm. He just felt a presence. Yo. Not because it looked like um you know one it looked like a sperm like a a ghost sperm <laughs> you know yeah like it was floating around the room but no it's it's the worst when your homies actually see it like yeah. that's how you know you're not tripping I know you and know that I mean? that's live too fam <laughs> that's live too you never know with live shit bro because I feel like because that's what I was saying before mm -hmm. if you really bag it if mm -hmm. spirits spirits are real yeah yeah if ghosts are actually out here just like you know what I mean out here mm -hmm. wouldn't they just be out whenever whenever wherever whatever is happening yeah. like even if you're just on your phone and let's say you have the lights on mm -hmm. if there's a ghost in your house and your house is haunted it's probably it's probably chilling there somewhere yeah yeah it's like you can't see it yeah no that one was weird because it was like a whole like it was like it looked like dust it looked like dust flying you can easily see it on a camera yeah so that's fucked. i think bro <laughs> fam i think mm -hmm. like eventually we're gonna because if you have like the for example the apple vr headset yeah there's got to be like sensors and shit that can detect other things that we can't. Mm. You know what I mean? Because whether it be like infrared, which yeah. is something that's real, and that's what they use for like ghost hunting, mm -hmm. or just like electromagnetic. Yeah. Maybe we'll start to see things that are actually there. Because it just it just takes for something to become popular, mm -hmm. right? And then people start making apps and get creative in that tech mm -hmm. because they can just create whatever they want. Whatever, and if man. something right here it affects our vision, mm -hmm. then we can see shit that's already. You know what I mean? Because, uh, for example, like psychedelics, how we said um, ayahuasca. Can what if everything's see? already there and the ones, when you're on the psychedelic, that's when it's like the lens for you to yeah, see it. Yeah, I know. It's like a different part of your brain, kind of. Yeah. Because yeah, honestly, bro, I think I think there's some shit out there that we, like it's always there. Mm -hmm. like, what if what if your grandparents or like your ancestors are always just with you and you just don't see them? Like they're, they've been there the whole time. What if you have like a whole crew with you? What, what if like every single time you're just chilling? Yeah. You have like a whole squad with you, bro. <laughs> you know the, the Pokemon game when the Pokemon like always follows you? Yeah. Like during the game? That should be fire. Yeah. But imagine you can connect to that. Because I know Chinese people, they're very like in tune with their ancestors. Yeah. And if you have like ancestors to like talk to, for example, Avatar in uh, Last Airbender, 
they're able to like talk to every single past avatar mm. like can you help me with this situation like how do i how do i do these things yeah, yeah. imagine if you had the power to like yo have you have you dealt with a with a person like this how do i deal with them mm-hmm. at the same time though it's like kind of like cheating though because it's like mm-hmm. maybe like you don't really get to experience fully life because you have the, the cheat sheet no but you, you know still I mean? experience it yourself like if you read a book about someone's experiences and then go out and do something it's still your experience no yeah, but it's still like a cheat sheet though. It's like you're not living it 100%. So you won't have that full reaction of, oh, what would I actually do in this position? Mm, you know that's what I mean? A, that's a good question. Okay. Mm-hmm. With that theory, right? Yeah. Do you think education is bad? Education is bad. Because then you can't experience things. Like, like not education in like, uh, let's say mathematics or yeah, like yeah, whatever. Yeah. But I mean, educating yourself with life experiences. Life experiences. You think that's bad because you don't experience your life experiences. Wait, but they don't teach that in school though. No, what I mean, you educate yourself because you can educate yourself. Oh, that's what I'm edu- saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, 100% because, I, oh, fuck. Because you just said, because you just said like, that's like cheating. So if you don't, if you don't have those experiences, then you can't do it yourself. That's what you're saying, right? No, it's just like, I'm not saying it's like not a genuine reaction. It's like, okay, if you want to, if you want to study on the experiences that's going to come up, then that's, that's kind of like, oh, okay, maybe you're cheating. I don't know. But it comes back to like, it'll just come back to like, remember how you were talking about, oh, I have these dark games and in, in, in like the flirting and shit like that. Yeah. That's the exact same thing. Like, I don't think it's ethical, but it's there. You know what I mean? But I don't know. It's hard to say for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to say for sure because knowledge is knowledge, right? Yeah, you, exactly. You learn things. Like if I went into an experience and I learned from that experience, right? Mm-hmm. Now I have that knowledge. Whatever experience I get into that's similar to that shit, yeah. I'm probably going to be crazy at. Mm. You know, because I'm going to know exactly how to handle it. Yeah. Actually, like, maybe just a little bit better. Maybe because it couldn't be the same, right? Yeah, because like, remember the the club the club fight thing. Mm-hmm. So remember, it's like, uh, I, I didn't have any previous experience. So that was the first time, like, there was an altercation. Yeah. Obviously, during the time I froze up, oh, what's going on? Boom, next time that happens, since I have that experience now, I'm going to know what to do. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's good that I froze up because that was me without no, I didn't read up on this. You know what I mean? Like, boom, this is me living in the moment. It's like present. You feel me? Would you want the power to like in, like talk to your your past self or oh, talk to your future self so? i look you would i look you because <laughs> even sometimes in the podcast i'm like fuck i should have said that you know like, what i mean talk to your future self yeah talk to my future self. that's the true fucking she code though yeah <laughs> fuck that's like uh what do you call this uh foreshadowing or what is it called oh no not predicting yeah predicting it's like if you have Damn. that power then boom bro that because the future is too powerful yeah the, okay do you think the past is it, i guess the past is more fair Oh yeah, for sure. Because the past is, I guess you could have written down shit. Yeah. No, because it's already happened, and then like, oh, you can change it up. You know. Hot take. Yeah. Do you think the most, um, the smartest people are the ones that are documenting their past? Let's say you, everything you did was recorded, mm. and you can go back and go to a moment. Yo, mm-hmm. yo! Imagine this. Imagine this, right? Okay. Imagine the the Apple headset thing. It becomes day to day life. Like we just wear it, and you can still see everything, right? Okay. But it just pops up. Like boom, you can access your phone, your apps, or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. Now, imagine that your whole life was recorded on that, and then, and then, right? Yeah. Let's say you get into a situation that's similar to what you've experienced before, and it pops up. Ping. This is how you can handle it. Oh, no. You can do it this way. Remember what happened this time? You can do it this way. Remember what happened that time? Oh, so it's like Black Mirror. Yeah, it's so Black Mirror, bro. Oh, I, I don't think I would want that, bro. That's, that's so scary. That's crazy. That's so scary. That's so crazy. Because then there's no event in your life that you actually lived, right? Because it's like... you. No, you did live it. Yeah, but it's like you're already having options. No, but now now you see... No, you see your mistakes. Yeah, now you it's see your It's just a reminder of... If anything, it's just a reminder of your mistakes. Because you mm. should, you as your as yourself should should be aware of the mistakes you've made. Yeah, yeah. But more times, like we don't remember. That's true. <laughs> but <laughs> imagine it pops up in like exact moment. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> this situation you've experienced in 2008 right. on a Wednesday. Yeah. Do you want to do it exactly like this again? <laughs> Think again, because this is what happened. That's you know that's I mean? like those those uh, nights where it's like you'll be chilling, peaceful, mm-hmm. and then your top fifteen cringiest moments plays in your head, like the Akira, <laughs> <laughs> Akira, <laughs> leave me alone, <laughs> Akira. Like I I hate when that shit happens because you like regret it, fam. You know what I used to do? What? I think I told you this. I used to freaking every time I had a cringe moment in my life. Yeah, I did the the SpongeBob scene yeah. where he throws the memories into fire. 
I literally do that. Like I think of that and then I forget yeah. it. Word. That's a, that's a good way to remember it too. Yeah, like the the cringe moments in my life, I remember what happened. Mm-hmm. But the feeling of it and the cringiness of it, yeah. I can't even, I don't even feel no more. Where, no, there, there That's was, it, deleted. Fam, trust me, there was a, uh, it was like a, something that would happen with our fans, right? Mm-hmm. So there was a case, right? Where a guy exposed himself on live TV when he was like rapping, like mm. rapping with his homies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know so his first line, so saying he, he's on live television, he grabs the mic, he's like, I killed my, I buried- Oh wait, this- this is the the black guy with the poetry book? No, no, it's a different guy. So oh, white guy. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. so his, his first line was like, I killed my and I buried her in the dirt. Mm. And everyone like behind him was like, Wait, what did he say? And then Oh shit. Yeah, so this wait. is on live television. And then he's like, he grabs the mic, his last word, he kinda mumble it. He's like, Oh, I think the cops are uh, are are looking for me. I'm out. Yeah. And then he drops the mic. And all his homies, like, you know when you're rapping, like with your homies, you say some things. It's, it's just for joking around. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah. Y&W Melly says, I will pull up with the choppers. I kill my homies and yeah, shit like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you can see in the back of the video, the guy, the everyone's like, oh. But he's really feeling this shit. <laughs> he's, yeah, really- he's like, for real about this, right? So what the police do, since this is on live television, they get that guy and they start investigating mm-hmm. his every move, right? So they find his car one day and in his car is a shovel some dirt and red blood stains are around his car Damn. what did he say i killed my i buried that in the dirt yo so everything he rapped about he, rapped he actually about. did <laughs> yeah and so, he snitched on himself yeah so he snitched on himself so taken uh his neighbors also chimed in they mm. said uh they said oh i seen robert one day walk out of his um his house yeah. with a body bag and the body wasn't moving he went straight in his car right oh, so fuck. taken the whole they investigated uh when he was at the convenience store before he buried the body yeah they, yeah, yeah everybody he talked to they found them right mm-hmm. but there was a five hour gap where they had no tracking of him that's when he went into like a forest right mm-hmm. and till this day fam that body has not like has not been recovered. Wait, wait, wait. So it's still a mystery to it's this day. It's still a mystery till this day. Like that body that he But hurt, he's in jail, no? They're try no, he's still I think it's still so going he's free in court. right now. Yeah, he's free because th- technically it was a rap, like it was a funny games but Oh, because they can't use that in court. Exactly. And the body isn't found, you know? Fuck, we have to wait for his net his next I EP, know. bro. We have to next for the next drop. Alive. Get more clues, fam. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that fam, that girl was his girlfriend though. So to be oh, honest, he, he should be going to court soon. But does he feel remorse for it? Like, or d- at, does he feel like <clears throat> sad about his girlfriend dying? Because what if, what if he didn't do it? Yeah, I don't know. But I mean, he's rapping about it. Why else would you rap about it? Isn't that guilty? Exactly. That's got to be guilty. Like straight yeah. up. Yeah. And there's been there's been other cases. Like you know about the the Family Feud murder case. Nah. I'll show you the clip. Hold on before I tell the story. So look. There was a guy on Family Feud, bro. Hold on. Yeah. Who, who literally also exposed himself stupidly. Here. So look what Steve Harvey says. You mistake you made at your wedding. Honey, I love you, but I love said, you. I said I do. Okay, so. Wait, what? So Steve, what do you mean by that? so Steve Harvey says, what is the biggest mistake you've done on your wedding day? Yeah. The guy says, oh, I said I do. And she's like, honey, that was a joke. I love you, right? Fam. Oh, I think it was like three years after he was on that game show and said that. Yeah, they saw his wife, twenty twenty three, uh, February, mm-hmm. dead on the floor, fourteen stabbings or, or gunshots. With after the game show, after the game show. Okay, okay. Yeah, and taken. So that guy was, I think, uh, wanting to divorce her a long time ago, and his wife even said to her, her sister, she was like, "If anything happens to me, I want my f- the first interest to be." on that guy right there because he's been trying to uh get into my house break it we're we, we're been divorced you yeah, know yeah, yeah. he's trying to break in my house and shit so what the the police found mm-hmm. was google searches the google search is like oh how to break in a, a house with a crowbar that's exactly what he did to break into her house like they all found oh, evidence of shit. him this guy you know, fucking but, didn't but people clear are his so, history bro yeah, people are so stupid that they say shit on tv which leads them to do shit after and it's mm. easy evidence, you know what I mean? Yeah, because it's just because all the time. Let's say, let's say we we log into an app and we do certain things. That's just probably recorded. Yeah, it's definitely recorded. And can they actually use that in court? Like, if they just 
can it go through your phone? Do they have the right to like grab your phone and grab your computer and everything like that? Or is uh, it only if it's there? No, I think they do. They have the right to do it, they right? Have, yeah. Because there's an investigation. For sure, I've heard like, fam, there's been cell phone calls like all recorded. You know, that's part of your no, phone. No, but isn't that after the, that's after the fact though. Oh, you're talking about in. Yeah, so, oh. so question, question. Cause yeah, I actually yeah. don't know the answer to this. Mm-hmm. Cause we all know Alexa, and no 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 oh, alexa oh, like alexa. prime oh, okay like alexa and like siri they talk to us google you know what yeah. i mean they all talk to us and they all record our voice yeah yeah the siri popped up no 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 <laughs> no nah, but if you think about it if it's always recording when can they actually use that as evidence mm. i don't know could they can just they? go back backlog of every single thing you ever said fuck i don't know that's more of like an ethical discussion because it's like even though uh you don't know it's there and you're saying all this stuff i don't think you can use it in court i don't think it's ethically right for a person who doesn't know it's there to use it right Mm. i don't know because i guess it's up to interpretation yeah because you could just be searching some shit up for the fact of searching it up yeah it doesn't mean you actually did those things right but then again let's say you had a conversation with somebody and you said something in in like ill intent Mm -hmm. but it was just randomly caught it was randomly caught can you can they still use that i guess they can bro yeah i think you can i guess they can especially if you did it okay i have okay i have a a question for you so i think i i seen this tv show where it was like a bunch of nurses Mm. and then um so one nurse that was helping a a patient like all of a sudden like dropped all their tools yeah like went into shock and then they gathered all the nurses like oh what's going on and he's like that patient that i'm serving was like molested me when i was like three years old damn right Mm -hmm. so the the like the big boss didn't know what was going on Mm -hmm. but the other workers got together they huddled around and i guess they they devised a plan yeah and the whole time they were serving this person it wasn't like urgent care they were giving even though he was dying Mm-hmm. Right, so the person that was st- stabbing needles into him was like doing it with extra force. Oh, what the fuck? You feel me? Because obviously he wants to stand up for the person that was molested. Yeah. So what do you think <clears throat> is right? Like, obviously it's a lot. It's like not ethically. Like everyone should do re- their job. Do right. Do their job. Right. Mm. But at the same time, if you were in that position and your homie that you're working with says, "Fan, that guy molested me. He's still not. F- he's still free. What are you doing?" So. Yeah, so let's say let's say you had to work. You're a surgeon, and then you're working on the body of the person that that killed Molest, your friend yeah, or whatever. Friend. Yeah, yeah. Damn, that's hard, bro. Yeah. Because in good faith, I would I would heal him. In good okay. faith, I would heal him because mm-hmm. everyone can be forgiven. Okay. You because the way I see it, bro. Yeah. Maybe one day because you healed that person, mm-hmm. what if they save your mom from a car crash? What if they like save your grandpa from doing something? Mm. You know what I mean? Like you don't know the butterfly effect of things. Yeah. What if they met somebody and then they met somebody else and then that person that was connected to that person, mm-hmm. they're your true soulmate okay. and you didn't realize. Because Damn. the way the butterfly effect works and the way like life, lives cross each other, life paths cross, mm. we don't know how everyone's going to end up. In my opinion, I would just done my job. But if yeah. it was my... I don't know if it's an enemy of an enemy. Yeah, I I just been on a wave of like forgiving people though. Okay, okay. I just been on a wave of forgiving yeah. people. I'll tell you how they did it. So yeah. they still treated the guy, but I think the girl was like, "Yeah, you're not gonna get no urgent care from me, but I'm still gonna do my job. You're gonna get the bare minimum from me." Mm. You know, which is which is professional. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess I guess just do your job at least. Yeah, do your do job, your job at least, right but, too. But you're not gonna get you know my full attention. <laughs> that's kind of fucked though is it you never know even bro. still like if somebody if somebody did me like super super dirty yeah and i decide to do like a revenge act right mm-hmm. doing that revenge act i don't think it's fulfilling fam yeah because then what happens and that's just more evil to or more negative energy to it and then yeah. it just continues but somebody has to like Break stop it. it yeah somebody has to stop that chain from happening and then you what it i think the true reconciliation is is when you mm. decide okay i'm gonna take this on the cheek and like boom let me just take that boom yeah yeah i think that's the, definitely the bigger person whoever can forgive first because once you forgive someone oh the peace in your life is crazy like there's no more things to worry about because if you think about it in this way yeah. let's say um somebody did some ill shit to you right mm-hmm. if you decide to go and do revenge yeah then you are accepting all of that pain and all of that suffering and all of that energy they gave to you. Mm-hmm. You're the one that lost. Yeah. But if you did the opposite and for just if you it. yeah, if you decided to not accept that and not do the same act mm-hmm. and reversed it, 
then you wouldn't be accepting that energy. You would you would be you'd be cleansed. You know what I mean? Yeah. You would be clean off of that. Obviously, you would feel like shit, kinda, mm -hmm. for a bit. But like, at least you wouldn't do more evil to the world. Yeah. <laughs> so, so there was a TikTok was like, I've been protecting my peace so much that I have like zero friends. <laughs> I have no job. In that. My my life is on a down spiral because I I'm been focusing too much on myself. That's good though, bro. <laughs> it is. It is. No, but, pe but people don't understand that. It's because it's like a. When, when you have no one around and you just have time to work on yourself, people think that's like, um oh, I have no friends. That's what they're focused on. But it's like more of God saying like, oh, now you have time to finally focus on yourself. Mm -hmm. No distractions. You have no friends telling you, yo, come outside. That might be a blessing. Yeah, because exactly. Because it, it was for the wrong, mm -hmm. you know? Because <clears throat> at the end of the day, why do we really need friends? Companionship, right? Yeah, companionship, yeah. But there's some people that can live alone without companionship. You can find companionship in the dog. You can find, mm. you know, like there, there's... There's ways to suffice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a lot of beat like your you don't, shit. Yeah, you don't have. Yeah, you don't have to like go out and do exactly what everyone tells you to do to be happy. Like you can find your own happiness anyway. Yeah, but it it does feel like shit when everybody else shows you these things that they're having fun with, mm -hmm. and then you could be doing the same thing. Yeah, and I think that's the moments where we're like, fuck, is this the life for me? Yeah. You know what I mean? That, that's the worst feeling. Mm -hmm. If you have like the fuck. Did I, did I choose the right things? Yeah. And then that's the regret. But, like, what are you really going to do? Are you going to keep regretting? Or are you going to, like, lie. go do something go about do it, something, fam? Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, that. that's something that, that's happened recently. It's like, I've had this, const, like, this, like, weird fear where it's like, oh, am I wasting my days? Like, so I'm, I'm usually the guy now that says, yo, let's go at least get something to eat. Yo, let's go golf. Let's go thing, right? Mm -hmm. But, like, none of my friends are down for it. But And then I just end up, you feel me, just sitting at home. So I'm like, fuck, am I wasting my days? And then I was like, okay, if my friend's not going to do it, I'm just going to do it myself. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> but it was weird just going out and just, like, like finally just doing your going, own. Going by yourself and doing stuff? Yeah, because, like, I've never ate by myself. Mm. I don't think so. Unless it's in my ha house and like people are upstairs. You never ate by yourself in a restaurant? But going to a restaurant, I don't think I've ever ate by myself. That's one of the <clears throat> best feelings I ever felt in my life. Really? That was the most, that's one of the most zen moments I ever felt in my life. Really? Also, I went to the park to go record stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> more than once. Oh yeah. And, I, and every single time, like I went by myself mm -hmm. essentially. And bro, when I did it, mm. like, it just felt like, damn, I really, cause I walk, you know what I mean? I don't drive. I walked probably like a kilometer to go there to the yeah, park, yeah. but it just felt right. You know what I mean? It just felt like I'm making a decision to go do this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it regardless of what anybody else is going to do. Not only that, I'm going to go sit in the park and fucking record myself. I don't care what anybody else walking by is going to say. Mm -hmm. I don't care their opinions of it. I'm going to be as loud as I want, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And that was like a very free feeling. Word. And a lot of the times like we, we forget like a free feeling because we, we start to feel like, this is what regular is. Yeah, yeah. Remember, yeah. like, th this is regular. This is normal. A lot. No, it's not <laughs> no, because even though, like, you said, oh, you're in the park and everyone is around, I could never do that because even when I'm, um, even if you're, like, in your room sleeping and mm. I have to record an ad and be loud. Oh, you, you think? I'm still thinking, like, oh, he's listening to me right now. But, and, then, and what, though? <laughs> but I just don't want to mess up hella, you know? That's what I mean. It's no, like, but and what? Yeah, I know. And what? Like, like no <laughs> okay, you, you mess up. You, you go, <laughs> you know what I mean? You stutter as fuck, like, and what? Like, what am I going to do? Yeah. You know, yeah. Nobody cares, bro. Nah, that's facts. Like, if you go fail on a stage, like, yeah, you fail. People are going to remember it. And then what? And what? Like, mm -hmm. are you going to die? No. Yeah, You're not going to die. You're not still. You're blessed, fam. Like, you can live another day. You can do it differently another day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's why, that's why, like, one of the biggest goals is, like, just take more risks in public. Or, like, just take more risks in general. Mm -hmm. Just so I can, I can get that feeling. Because I, I need to lose more. Lose. I need to take yeah. more losses. Because the only reason why I got to this point right now... I was thinking back on it. I was like, oh, because all the L's behind the scenes, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, people don't realize that. But now it's like, okay, now that I'm a, at a, a stalemate, boom. Now it's time to take more risks since I'm in this position mm. anyway, you know? Do you think Do you think there's any L's that ever stopped you doing, doing something, though? Mm, that's a good question. Any L's? Because <clears throat> there, there definitely was some L's, like, I think about. I'm like, damn, yeah, yeah, I fucked up in that. And then I'm like, I'm not going to touch that no more. Like what? Now I can just think about it. It's like personal stuff, but... Mm. I think there's moments where, where you see where you see something play out that way and it's almost like a warning like maybe that's not for you cuz Really? Yeah, not for real. I I think there's a there's a certain L you can take, bro. It's like nah, you're not built for that. You know? Oh, I was like, oh okay. 
Oh, and I was gonna say no, no, because usually if I, if I know if it's not for me, I'll still try to do it. You know? Yeah, me like, too. Just, just I, I, do I do it. I do it. I do it. Anyways, and I still do it again. <laughs> <laughs> I still do the exact same thing 100, again. Hundred, hundred, yeah. Enough, I'm like even even if I I fucked up, even if I did something that wasn't good, mm-hmm. like, I'm gonna do it again, and I'm gonna just see like if I can do it better. That's it. If I can do it better, I do it better. If I can, then shit, we just have a replay. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with a replay. How many times are you trying it until you quit, though? Like, what? What? When's your 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 sign to like? Okay, this is actually not for me. Hmm, that's a good question. I think I would say, I think I would say until like your your soul tells you to stop. You know, what I mean, when, when you feel like there's no energy for you to like yeah. continue going. Okay, but at the same time, I don't know. If people have a good concept of what that is, because mm-hmm. sometimes they they just run off motivation, and yeah, yeah. and motivation isn't what you want to keep running off of, because yeah. motivation comes and goes. Mm, discipline, but, yeah, but the the true like spirit to do something is different. Mm-hmm. Like, regardless, I'm gonna love my mom. I wake up, I'm gonna love my mom. I have a spirit to go do that. Yeah, right. Is there really a spirit to go out and you know what I mean go swim every day? Nah. Mm. Like, I, I'm not going to go wake up and swim. But Michael Phelps, he has that spirit to go and swim. Yeah, that makes sense. LeBron, like, he's going to play basketball regardless, you know? Because a lot of people look at the, um, maybe, like, the numbers. Say, like, they did a podcast. Mm-hmm. And they would only give up, even though they have such a crazy passion for it, they would lose motivation because it didn't hit that that number, mm-hmm. right? But, like, I, I was going to ask you, was like, oh, if this podcast never blew up, like, in the first settings, mm-hmm. how much episodes do you think you would have done? But I feel like you would have. I would have just this kept, my prediction. Yeah. you would have kept going just because you liked it. Yeah, Loki. I just like you know. I just like talking, fam. Yeah, like, like even if it's not about certain topic, I just like fucking talking. Mm-hmm. Cause it, it, it's it's like for me to, I I personally believe like I was meant to like just just say shit. Say shit <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Not even if it's important. <laughs> not even not that ass. Uh-huh. Even if it's not important. Even even if it's not for that. Just to like get a reaction from somebody Mm -hmm. and like impact them some way for them to think of something for sure what did you say that everyone though like everyone has a voice and like it it matters everyone's voice does matter we talked about this last episode but like i i don't know no we didn't yeah we said we said if 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 you believe like everybody's important and everybody does matter then there's a mix-up because then who's right maybe i don't remember that conversation still i'm but i'm open to hearing everyone personally Mm -hmm. i'm open to hearing everyone yeah but i don't think everybody Okay, yeah. Everybody does have a voice. I agree. Yeah, yeah. Everybody should have a voice. But I don't think everybody... I don't think anyone is right. That's what I believe. I don't think anybody's right. Is right. Mm. That's, that sounds hella stubborn, man. <laughs> no, no, no. Not in my... Like, I don't think I'm right. Oh, you don't think you're right either. It's just like, no one's right. It's yeah, nobody's right. It, but, oh, there, okay. but there's a right for me. Okay, okay. And there's a right for you. Like, you think that's right because, yeah. Got you. You, sh- got you should you. believe that's right. Got you. Right? Because, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I, don't think, I don't think you're meant to... Hmm... Cause if if you're if you're in one let's say dilemma in your life, mm-hmm. right, and you solving that causes another person's demise, mm-hmm. but that person's demise like you don't even know them, blah blah blah, this yeah. and that. It's still right for you to go save your family, you know, and then this person like, if they can do something to stop an event of that person, friend, nobody's right. Yeah, like if I decide to do something. It's like the train pulling like that. that Yeah, scenario. to go save my people or, or you go save yeah. your people. Yeah. We're at war, but like I wouldn't say you're right and I'm wrong. Mm-hmm. I just believe I'm right and you're wrong because yeah, just because that's what the, that's that's how the game set up. Yeah. Like, for example, basketball, you know, like we're, we're on separate teams. Mm-hmm. If I shoot a point and I win, like that's right for me. Mm-hmm. That's wrong for you. Flip it. It's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. Like nobody's really right. It's just your, your own team, your own that's that's really like your own players fam. Mm-hmm. and i see that in public too it's like uh i seen something it was like the the ones that are judging are the most like vulnerable like they mm. only judge because they feel vulnerability in mm. themselves right low key yeah. yeah so it's like the the ones that you you can talk to you can easily find out when they when you're talking to someone and they're like firm on their every belief they have and they mm-hmm. think everything is right and nothing you're wrong that's the wrong person to hang out mm-hmm. with, right because there's no way that you can go 24 7 or like or whenever you link up with them and you can stand that mm-hmm. you know yeah, it gets yeah, annoying yeah. yeah you have to have somebody that that listens yeah that, that like, listens bro because if, if you if you're too much of one thing and then don't realize the other then no if you think everything's right mm-hmm. then you just end up in a world of of you okay wait but then then why is everyone hating on a yes man? Because mm. we're saying, okay, you shouldn't just judge. 
but you should also be able to listen. Yes men are very like good listeners. No, but yes uh, Yes men, the problem with yes men, yeah. Nobody leads them. What you mean? Nothing gets solved, nobody leads them. But that's not their purpose. Their purpose to to lead to No, because you. if you think about it, like a great leader, right? Yeah. Like a great leader from the opposite team, he's the worst person in the world. Mm-hmm. But to everybody that's on his team, he's the greatest person in the world. You get me? Okay, yeah, yeah. Because if you think about it this way, remember what I said like different teams, different basketball teams, right? Yeah. I think the, raw, the, the worst thing is switching sides. I think that. Switching sides, okay. I think the worst thing you can be is not, is not helping people that are on your side or on your team. Mm. That's, that's what I think. Like if we're talking morals and shit, I think that's a, that's the slimiest thing. That's the worst thing you can ever do is switch sides. That's mm. it. Okay. You could do you could do whatever you want for your side. If you do something for the other side, that's like the enemy. Mm-hmm. I think that's the worst thing you could do, personally. But even if it's moral and like the the morality questions and shit, <laughs> if you're on that team, do what's for that team. Feel me? But you're saying, but a yes man wouldn't switch teams. Yes, he, he would, would because he's a yes man. He no, would he, he would, would say yes to the other side no, too. No, he would say yes to his leader. No, no. What I'm saying is like, a, okay, a yes man says yes to everybody. That's what a yes man oh, is. Okay, okay. I'm thinking like, okay, he like- Then he's not a yes man. Oh, okay, okay. A yes, a yes man says yes to everyone. That's what okay, a yes man okay, is. Okay, okay, got you, got you. Cause then, then he has no, he has no, what do you call it? Side. Yeah, yeah. Cause if somebody's like completely, oh, everybody's, everybody has a point. Oh wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to that team. Oh wait, t- today, today I'm this. Mm-hmm. Oh, today I'm that. That's what you call a bandwagon. That's what you call like, a, you know what I mean? Okay, but okay, so let's say like um, in that scenario you put, yeah. that person who switched sides, it's actually beneficial for them. Yeah, of course. It's going to be beneficial. Like, in, in their own place, like, it's going to be beneficial <laughs> yeah, for them. But he switched sides. Is, is that, but the, is I, that I, but Like I was saying, that's the slimiest shit you can do ever. Because that's the most selfish thing you can do. That's mm-hmm. the most slimiest shit you can do. Because you, you, you leave the people that you came up with. You leave the people that you know and, and you put trust into them and they put trust into you yeah, yeah. and decide to fuck them over and do something else with other people no no, no but it's not fucking you over but it's beneficial to him that that's it's no no correct that that's still in is my that, opinion that different that's switch, that's still switching sides because oh, they shit. put they put trust into you to be on that team no but if you're a real Damn, homie, that's though, like saying that's like saying if you if, if you get in a relationship with a girl and she goes to another guy that's not bad Ob- obviously that's bad for you no no like so Say it's like it didn't work out with you guys. She she get, goes on with a guy that actually she deserves. That's not bad. No, what I'm saying is like it's it's bad for the team. You know what I mean? It's, it's bad. It's bad for it's bad for that side. Like yeah, you're not gonna feel bad. good about it. Yeah, yeah. You're not facts. gonna feel good about it. But, but I'm saying you individually. Like say say uh say we had Josh. Say yeah. we had Josh on yeah, the podcast, yeah, yeah. right? And and say like um Louis Vuitton signed him to to be one of uh, the podcast hosts on their show. You know and. It's not gonna affect us because obviously we're, we're his homie, but he gets a bigger, uh, bigger bag from it. But and Josh isn't isn't on the podcast like that. That's a that's oh, a bad no, example. Okay, but, but, that's a bad okay. example. I don't know. <laughs> Say he was here for 150 episodes. Yeah, man. yeah. And Louis Vuitton starting a big podcast, and they want Josh as the main host. And, and then he can't do this one. And he can't do that one no more. Yeah. Oh. Then I would then I would say yeah. Unless unless it, it's it's okay with the with the team. Like if it's like okay, we don't fuck with that guy. Let send him off. But we fuck with Josh. Yeah, if, no. So what I'm saying, be if, bad to you? No, if if you if you if the team like <laughs> be like, nah, don't go, don't go, and the bro says, nah, fuck y'all, yeah. that is different. Okay, that's a hundred percent different. If it's a guy saying fuck y'all, but he's like, yo, can I go and get this bag? No, what I'm okay. Who? What position am I in, fam? Am, am I the whole team or am I just one person? No, you're you're one person of this team. Okay. I would, I would personally allow it. Mm-hmm. Like, I would say, like, go ahead, do your thing. Okay. But if the rest of the team says, like, nah, we can't, bro. Like, we need this. We need this. Mm. Then, yeah, it has to be done. It has okay. to be this dead. Okay, okay. Because I'm saying you. Don't worry about me, about the team. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Would, would Josh going there uh, be switching teams? Consider, that's it. That's the question. If, if that means this one fails, then yes. Mm. Okay. So, but if it doesn't, it's not. Then there's, then who cares? What the fuck? See? Okay, okay. No, who cares? You talking I got, about? I got you. I got no, you. but switching teams means like that team is 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 done. Is like that's that's a losing team. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Mm-hmm. Like if you decide to to switch teams, you you're switching for a reason, no? Yeah, yeah. If LeBron goes from you know what I mean from Cleveland to Miami mm-hmm. because Cleveland's losing, that that's what it means. It's not because he cares about them. It's because it's losing. Yeah, no. But if it's beneficial to my homie and he 
And even, okay, say even I get hurt mm -hmm. from it. Yeah. I think I would still allow it. Like if word. Yeah, because that's just the person I am. Oh, if that's your bag, fam, okay, go get it. You feel me? I feel like even if I'm hurt. So the it, destruction. So the, okay, let's put it in like terms of countries. Mm. So the destruction of that, like you're going to doom everybody else and, and just accept it because me, yeah. that's what he decided. That's personally I'm, what I'm, I would do. I would fight for it. Really? I, would, I would fight to, to keep something strong. I wouldn't, I wouldn't just give up something to, to let it die. Mm. Personally. Okay. I would fight to keep something strong and not let it die. Yeah, no, my, my personality is totally different because it's like, say a heartbreak too. Like, remember what I was telling you in Sahar? It's like, say uh, a person comes and breaks my heart. Yeah. The next person I'm not going to show any remorse to. It's like, it happened, you know? It's like, I'm not going to treat you any different. Shit, ha shit plays out for a reason. Yeah, so yeah. even if Josh leaves us and, we, and the podcast goes to shit, I'm, it happened, fam. Like, go get you. That That's my homie. I believe in you. But, okay, this will work out no matter what, you know? Even though at the time it might seem like, oh, we're fucked. But I'm I'm, I'm not going to say, like, okay, no, stay. Like, fam, if you want to go. If that's your calling, go. That's a different scenario, though. How? Because cause you, you're saying, like, from the from the jump, like, they, they don't need it. But I'm saying if, if, if the team needs it and he decides to go, then it's different. Like in that scenario, who cares? Yeah, yeah if yeah. if you're saying like, if no, if you think it's gonna be blessed regardless, yeah, then yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But in my sense, like if if you can predict like, oh, this like we need this player for this, yeah. Then yeah, you need this player. Like, why would you just give that shit up? Because it's not it's not meant to be. So let's put in let's put into a better example. Okay, okay. Let's say you're with a girl and then she decides to go with another guy because she fulfills her soul, mm. but you don't. Yeah. Are you gonna fight for her? No. Really? No. You're not gonna fight for her. Because if that fills her soul, that's what it was meant to be. So you're not you're not gonna try and prove it wrong. Nah. You're just gonna no, you're just gonna take your L. There's no point. I would fight for love, fam. No, because if I love her, if I love her and she finds love with another guy, I'm gonna show her that I love her first mm. before just letting her go. I understand that. I understand that. But me personally, it's like, okay, if I love you but yeah. she doesn't love me, that's not love. Period. You mm. know, so what? what's the point of me fighting for someone that don't love me? So go, you know. No, I agree. Thing. Yeah, I agree with that. Like, if, yeah. if, if, if she just doesn't want you, she doesn't want you, period. Exactly. Yeah. She doesn't so, want you. So there's no, there's no, like, effort. There's no, like, uh, motivation for me to go out my way and, and fight for it if it's not meant to be. So that's why uh, I, I'm going uh, I'm to take my L. Mm -hmm. And if it was actually meant to be, she would either come back or I'd find another person that was meant to be. Me, personally, I, I've, it's like... I don't think too much of things. It's just like, oh, if this happened, okay, boom, it was actually meant to be. That's really? my personality. I would fight for it. I, I would yeah, take yeah. things into my own hands, though. No, we're, we're different, still. Because I feel like, I don't know, bro. <laughs> if it was up to me to, like, do things, I would make sure it happens in the right way, like, I want to see it. But what is the right way? You don't know what the right way is. The, the right way is what happened. No. The right way is what's meant to happen. No. I disagree. What? How do you know what's meant to happen? Coincidence. There's nothing such as coincidence, fam. So it was we, meant to be. You can change the future, <laughs> fam. You can't change the past. Like, you can't change the... You, you can change the future, though. I lied. That's how we're different, bro. It's like, fuck. You, you, can, you can change the future, fam. You can take over the world if you really want to take over the world. Like, I, I truly believe in that. Like, there's, there's a lot of people in the world and there's only like 1% of people that make huge changes mm -hmm. is because they were the ones that were fucking crazy enough to decide that. Like 1%, fam. 1% of the world is billionaires. 1%. They will probably do some crazy shit that you can't understand or comprehend because you're 99%, fam. Yeah, yeah. Like... One percent is very, 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 very <laughs> slim. Small, like fam. that's that's rare. Like those are the guys that that's like Mewtwo shiny. You know, that's like Mewtwo shiny, and then you caught it like with a Pokeball. <laughs> like the, the the chances are very, very, very slim. Like you won the lottery. Yeah. So I think personally, to be to make those changes and for you to actually make a crazy difference in the world and move society in a direction that you never could see as possible is you have to do those things that you don't think would have happened. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, the, it's obviously different scenarios. Like, I, I do 100% believe yeah. that, like, that stuff, like, obviously go out and do your thing. Mm -hmm. But, like, scenarios like the, like, love shit and stuff, I feel like that that stuff, oh, I'm just, you know what? Do do your thing. I would still fight for love, fam. I, there's no way I'm not fighting for love, bro. Like, I would, I would go, 
Like if, if it's that serious of love, like I would go out and die and stuff. Yeah, obviously, like if it's my parents and shit, but it's like, oh, my, like uh, anyone else. But it's like, if you're not re- giving me that energy back, mm. there's nothing to fight for, bro. But if you are giving me that energy back, I'm fighting, you know? It's all about reciprocation. Yeah, I agree with that. Like if she's not fighting back, but the fight the fight is to see if she'll fight back that's mm-hmm. that's what that's what the that point of it is yeah it's like you fight to see like what her reaction would be if her reaction is like yo fuck off yeah then it's said then it's said it's meant to be yeah but i mean like to, to go ahead and, and fight for it yeah the initial like 100 percent i'm like i'm, I'm gonna <laughs> do some Word. i have to go out there and find out really like i'm not gonna leave it i'm not gonna leave it to whatever people say is like destiny's choice like mm. I'm gonna try and find my destiny. Like yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna, I'm not gonna let the story play out how people say it should play out. I'm gonna go and write the story. Mm, yeah, yeah, no, because I remember we were talking with me and Charon too when um, uh, we were talking with you too, and you're like, "Whoa, why'd you guys do that?" Yeah. So like, if I didn't know, like I would only jump mm-hmm. to a conclusion if I know like 99% she's into me, right? So yeah. I'm not gonna move to her unless I know, right? Mm-hmm. But you obviously you're. Even if you there was one percent, you're still gonna move to her, you know. Yeah. But it's like, oh no, I need to know that like amount to for me to go because I guess at that time I w- I didn't want to fail, I didn't want to think. So it's like if I if I didn't do that, boom, it was actually meant to be. Like I didn't I wasn't meant to jump. <sighs> that that I wouldn't say that's meant to be though. That's just like it is <laughs> at the same time it kind of technical. If we want to get technical, it is me- what it is meant to be because I no, didn't cause do it because it. it happened. Yeah, yeah I agree. It happened, because yeah. it happened, it was meant to be. That, <laughs> so that's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if it happened, it was meant to be. So, like, that statement is really contradicting. <laughs> but if we want to be real, <laughs> I'm not even gonna say this. Yeah, yeah. Say this. <laughs> I told you, bro. No, no, cause I was gonna say if we want to be like like real on the other side, uh, it's like what meant to be is just to say like to make us feel better yeah to make us feel better yeah yeah. because if you had dreams and aspirations and you didn't do them and you said like this was meant to be maybe it's not Mm, i get that maybe maybe it really wasn't maybe you just like you didn't trust in yourself as much if you went out crying dying bleeding sweating Mm. and tried 100 percent and still didn't get it fucking meant to be okay i get that yeah i mean if you're running to try and really really chase that shit Mm -hmm. and fighting for it and it didn't happen it was meant to be. Oh. But if you're out here like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like, and mm-hmm. then it just, it didn't fall into my lap. Mm-hmm. Like if it fell into your lap, I guess it was, it was like put out for you. Yeah. But at the same time, it's, yeah, obviously it'll go forever because mm-hmm. we don't know what meant you, to we be don't is. Know. We don't you know. know yeah, yeah. So it's like, yeah, no, but your, your side makes sense too. You know, I understand that side. Especially for, mm-hmm. uh, I want to say this, like yeah. all those kids in high school that, yo, I have a crush on this girl, this and that. And like, I don't think, what are the odds I'm gonna get with her? Mm-hmm. Bam. All you really have to do is just put the focus into yourself first and see what she would be into. And if you align with that, then you know what's right. Yeah. Cause a lot of the times, like we wanna we wanna chase something that's not for us. If you put yourself in the person that she's looking for and you don't feel like yourself, then fucking don't be that it's person. Never gonna work. Exactly. L- long like, term don't be long that term person. is so bad because yeah. it's like yeah, you can act, but it, it's now the question of how good of an actor are you? Exactly. You know? the, the best advice I can give is go ahead, go walk up to her, introduce yourself, talk, mm-hmm. and get, let her get to know who you are. Yeah. Like who you are, like you, you. And if she fucks with you, she fucks with you. That's no, it. Facts. Because, That's it. Like yeah. the real you. That's it. Yeah. You, you know, it's like one of those ones that I truly believe too is like, uh, when you go searching for love, it doesn't come. But once you're chilling and you finally work on yourself, it does come. Mm-hmm. It's because you attract that energy that you're so like that you build and work on yourself. It gets put out and like like girls will see that in yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's why they, they as soon as uh, men's are not looking, it'll come. It's usually always a story like that, you know. Mm. So just work on yourself, kings. I'm, I'm very much like a. <clears throat> Like a go go grab your destiny, fam. Like yeah. you know you know why? Because I just watched Spider Man. Oh, that's why. Because <laughs> that's what it, it, it's uh-huh. it's a lot of that. It's like um, so Miles like he he has like a set like timeline story that's supposed mm-hmm. to, like the canon event. It's supposed to happen. Yeah, yeah. But he's deciding like nah, like I'm gonna do it my way, that's and then true, go grab true. your destiny, and we'll see how like the third movie plays out, but. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And then he's gonna base his personality off that. He's like, uh, if it happens, <laughs> watch the next Spider-Man we'll see, movie. We'll just be like, nah, oh, but he's a spoiled kid, and Carlos just turns into that because he bases his personality off movies. I don't base my personality off movies. First off, <laughs> ding ding. <laughs> oh shit! Yes, yeah, Spider-Man. Ding, ding. Oh, I, actually, uh, there's a there's a hidden there's a hidden theory. Uh huh. So 
Did you know Miles Morales and his dad, yeah. they popped up in another movie that wasn't Spider-Man way before. Where they pop up? And it, and it was animation. what they do? So, Miles Morales and his father, uh-huh. they were in Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Whoa. Way before, bro. When? When? Way before. When? Watch this. Check this out. So, not only were they in were they in the, the movie Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, but yeah. also in in uh, Across the Spider-Verse, you know that machine the scientist was using? Yeah. When the portal opened up and like dragged everything in, that same machine was in it. What yeah. So it's like a callback. But look, look, look. You That's can't... a long time ago though. So they've been planning it? I don't know. I, th- this is just like maybe a, a callback to it to, okay. to show. Um, Let me see this shit, man. To show love. I love this movie too. But check this out. So do you remember these characters, bro? <laughs> Yo! Stop. Yo! No. So this is Miles Morales and his father as kids. No. Or no. when they were younger, sorry. When this was Miles when he was a kid, and that's was when that's his father when he was younger. So he didn't age? No, he got older. We talking oh, about he got older? He's he was a baby. Also, if you look at the kid, he jumps the same way as Miles. Stop. He's jumping the same Stop. way, bro. That's, <laughs> that's a crazy theory, man. That's Yo. a crazy theory. It's crazy. Yo. Also, um, I don't know, you know uh Toy Story. You know Toy Story 3, the daycare? Oh yeah, with uh, uh Lotso. Yeah, I just realized this. Yeah. But every single one of the kids that was in the daycare mm-hmm. in Inside Out the movie, each one of those kids in Inside Out, yeah. they're the same kids from the daycare just grown up. If you look at every single individual kid, it matches up to all the kids in the main character's classroom oh, of Inside fuck. Out. And you know who's who's part of that the class? Who? Miles Morales? No. <laughs> Boo from Monsters, Inc. No yeah, way. Yeah, Boo is part of that class. It's Yo. all connected. What the fuck? Yeah. But wait, so it so so the, the kids from T- Toy Story 3 were in They, the they were babies. They were still yeah, like toddlers. Oh. And, then, and then inside out, those, like if you look at the individual ones, yeah. they're just grown up. The same kids grown up. Yo. Yeah, it's so fuck. sick. That's so sick. Wait, so you remember that? The also guy, the um, the guy with the, the skull on his shirt? Oh, uh, Sid, he, yeah, he's yeah. like a garbage guy. <laughs> yeah, he's the garbage so, guy. So he didn't end up in school. He ended up doing garbage. <laughs> Is that what they were trying to play? No, 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 no. He's Since separate. He's separate. Okay, he's separate. Because because the other kids are younger. Okay. Sid is like um Andy's age. Okay. He's okay. like Andy's. So he was age. already grown. Okay. Yeah. He, he's like grown. He, he's like <laughs> an adult. Been, that he's crazy, an adult. Easy like a uh, like a wake up call. Like yo, you want to be these kids or you want to be that kid? <laughs> Alright, we'll end it right there Thank you everyone for watching this episode of the Jump for Jump Podcast Mm -hmm. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff Make sure to go on Spotify Apple Podcasts, make sure to download those episodes Give us a 5 star rating, we love you guys And go check out my channel, I'm going to be posting more content On there, so link in the description below Check out the vlogs And yeah, Jump for Jump out Deuces